Welcome to the Creative Studio. Tonight we're going to talk about metering your shots. We are sponsored by Photographer's Adventure Club and Parkwood Studios here in Phoenix, Arizona. Well, welcome to Creative Studio. Tonight we're going to talk about using a handheld meter or not to use a handheld meter. My name is Larry Pollock and I have Scott Hartwick with me tonight here in Parkwood Studios. So, Scott, you know, I know you're a film guy and do I'm both, like, yes. you do both digital and film and I'm totally moved out of film and to digital. So I use a meter in my camera a lot. I don't have a handheld meter, but we were talking earlier and you still have a reason to have one. I do. I have a, an older uh, medium format film camera and when I bought it, it had waist level finder on it and therefore there was no meter. So you have to meter. When you do landscape, sometimes you get away with Sunny 16, sometimes you can't. If you're in a studio, you're going to have to meter the light. Yeah. So there, there's a real difference. There's still people who want to shoot film or even are still have never switched or keep their old cameras. Yeah. But for me, I've you know talked to a lot of professional photographers and friends of mine that shoot in LA and shoot in the you know with the actors and do very you know high end stuff and for uh, big companies and he doesn't use a meter. One of them does, and his friend does weddings, and he doesn't use a meter. They use what's in the camera. They're able to sure. meter right in the camera with a digital camera and get great shots. And I think that's kind of where I came to is, do I want to spend the money on a meter? Because they do get expensive, you know, $200 yeah. and up in general. I think there may be some cheaper ones, but uh, um, I'm not against meters uh, in things because people who really are finicky and want to do ratios, you know, I think you've been involved with setting up some lights and ratios sure. before. And, and you can do that and you, and you run around at each one of the lights and you meter each one and you bring them up and down and, and you get the balance where you want it. Right. Um, and, and, it and that's one way to go. And when I do digital, a lot of times I'll use the, the meter in the camera and we, you know, I'll look on the back of the camera at the display and set the highlight to see where the highlights are clipping and, and know where my exposure is based on that as right, well. Right, getting the blinkies on. That's, get, that's always on the blinkies play. in the camera, yeah. yeah I don't it turn helps. them on very often, but that would be a use for it just to give you a quick visual sure. if things are blowing out too far. Especially but, if, you're, if you're doing a, a, a rim light and you want to yeah. get it really hot, you can, you can see that blink and bring it to it just where it just goes away. Right, and I do a lot of rim lighting and that's where the in-camera metering is not going to work because the flashes aren't going all the time, so sure. I can't tell. I have to basically guess and because I've done it so much, I can get it really close. I set the lights a certain way. So you kind of get a feel for it based on yeah. the distance. Right, and, and I get my before. focus, I do a shot, and I see, I could build in the lights, I could just turn everything off and start with like do one backlight and take a picture and see how it looks, and do the turn that one off, turn on the next backlight or yep. hair light, and then the key lights, and sometimes you might even have two key lights, because I've seen ones with giant, you know, eight foot umbrellas, and you put a little beauty dish in front. Yep. And you can meter all those separately, and then you get the sum of the total at some point. Sure, right, but, but even when you even when you do meter to get the ratios correct, you do have to you have you have to take these things. You have to see the picture. Right now, that's where the handheld meter comes in because you can go to each light to the position of the model, right. or the subject could be a bottle of beer. It doesn't matter what it is, yeah. and get the light. So you know, I'm I've kind of because I've done it long enough. I said I can get close enough that I happy. And for me, at some point, the ratios don't matter because. I'm going to be looking at the light. I bring it up, I tether a lot, sure. so I'm bringing it up on a computer screen, or I'm using a loop on my camera, and I'm, and, I'm and really looking at the yeah. light, and, and just really, how do I feel about it? Ultimately, how do I feel about my image? Am I getting what I want in there, uh, in the process, and the feel I want to it? Because that's what gets the emotion going with the photo sure. to me. That's one of the advantages of the digital versus film. Yeah. And when, you, when you do the film, it's, it's always a big surprise when you get your film back. You know, did you get the ratios right? You've metered everything, but you, you can't get that preview. Did you choose the right film? Yeah, because <laughs> that happens. That happens. Because yeah. <laughs> the right film for the right job and, sure. thing, different, and different looks that you're going for. Well, I started out with a rangefinder camera, and I did have a handheld reflective meter. And I would hold yeah. it out, and the little dial would go where I want, and I would go make adjustments make to adjustments the camera. Make adjustments at that point, yeah. And that's where I started back, way back. I won't say how long ago that was. But, but it was a while, <laughs> yeah. It was a while ago. Yeah. Well, you know, kind of to, to wrap this up, I, I'd say, you know, that really it comes down to whether you use a meter or not. You have to start somewhere. You do. You have to make a decision and, and take a shot. Yes. And that's kind of what I do. I get the lights there. I get them where I, the, the settings on them. I've got the camera right where I normally, you know, F11, let's say I'm there. And I got my light set where I want them and I take a shot and I get the model in there. I have a stand in, you know, I've had you stand in various I've people that, yeah. <laughs> and I take a shot and then I make a couple of adjustments to power settings or camera settings. And 
when I get real close, I'm, I'm good, I'm happy. So I, I think it was Zach Arias and some of his training videos. Yeah, I watched a ton of these things with various right. people, and he just said, you got to start somewhere. It doesn't matter how you get there. At some point, you got to get that first shot in you gotta the camera. You got to take that shot, yep, And you then do. see where you're at, and then make an adjustment. And I do that with landscape, I do that with models, so. Yeah. Anything else to add, do you think? No, I think that, that covers it pretty well. Great. I mean, well, we talked tonight about you know metering. Do you, you meter or not? A lot of pros don't, and some swear by it. They absolutely yeah, have to yeah. have a meter. Um, you, you've got one built into your camera, but it's not going to work in every situation, like strobes, because they're not on until you pull the so trigger. Pull so the trigger, you've yeah. got to take a look at what happened in the camera instead. If you got film, you have no way of knowing until you get no that way. roll back. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And ratios, yeah, if you want to know how to really get things set, go and learn about ratios. We don't have time to get into that depth. That could be a video on its own. That could be a long video on its own. And really comes down to bottom end, you know, to wrap it up is got to start somewhere. So take the shot and start making your adjustments. So here we are at the end of the thing. So subscribe. You know, there's a button down there somewhere on this uh, screen. And, uh, sure. Leave comments below. Leave comments. Follow up here. We can come back and discuss this again if the people have more questions. So thanks for being here. You bet.